Former ANC Western Cape leader Marius Franzman is being charged for sexual harassment. He says he's unaware of the full details of the criminal case he's now facing. The allegations were made by former assistant Louisa Vainant in January 2016. The National Prosecuting Authority's Paladi Shuping is joining us now on the line to tell us the reasons why has the NPA decided now to prosecute uh, the former Western Cape ANC leader, Mr. Franzman Paladi. Good morning. Can we just start there? The main reasons for prosecuting Mr. Franzman. But then, yes, we can confirm that on Friday, the Director of Public Prosecutions in Kimberley communicated the decision or the decision that was taken in December 2017 that of prosecution, prosecuting Mr. Marias Franzman. This is after the investigation was conducted in the North where the Prosecution was of the view that there is a prima facie case against Mr. Franzman, and they decided that they will prosecute him. Even though they, they, have, they have not yet been charged, but what was communicated on Friday was a decision for intention to charge him based on a case that was opened against him in January 2016. Now, you've informed him of the intention to charge him, but the charges have not yet been formulated. Am I correct? Yes, yes, that is correct. Okay, now why has it taken so long to come up to this point since 2016? Um, remember, the office of the DPP in the West made a decision because the, there were allegations that were alleged to have happened in Northwest. And the decision in Northwest was that the DPP is not going to prosecute. But because According to the information, this incident took place in three different provinces, which is Western Cape, Northern Cape, and Northwest. The Northwest, Northern Cape police conducted their own investigations, and because that the office of the DPP in Northwest had already made a decision, there had to be some kind of communication where the office of the DPP in Northern Cape had to make an authorization to the DPP in North West to reconsider the decision not to prosecute. And it's not a decision that had to be made between the two offices, but they had to go via the national office because it's only the national office that can review decisions that have already been taken by the, by the office of the DPP. And after that, it was issue of centralization where the office of the DPP in Kimberley had to make an application for the charges to be centralized in Kimberley. That is why it took a bit of a time for a decision to be, to be taken. Okay, Mr. Shuping, unfortunately your line is not of the greatest, but very briefly, uh, if you can, what are the next steps now? Well, at the moment, they are just waiting for the finalization of the centralization process. As soon as that uh, process has been completed, then a date for court appearance will be decided. Very much. That's the NPA's Paladi Shuping clarifying that uh, a letter has been sent or communication sent to Mr. Marius Franson explaining to him of the intent uh, to proceed with charges. Charges have not yet been sent to him. That's still to come.